Hi, hello, welcome to Home School. This is your class 7 mathematics NCRT or CBSC board. And this is your first chapter in teachers. In our previous session, we have discussed about some of the basics of in teachers. Now, in this session, we are going to continue that basics. Today, we are going to complete that introduction part of integers, that is operation of integers. So, in integer operations, that means it comes under addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Using integers, we may add, subtract, multiply or divide. Now, let us start with multiplication of integers first. Before doing multiplication of integers, we need to remember two points. That is, multiplying any two integers, having, having same sign. Multiplying any two integers, having same sign, the result will be, the result will be positive positive integer or in other words you can remember this as multiplying same sign integers multiplying integers having same sign result means equal to i am writing is equal to positive anything you can remember multiplying any two integers having same sign the result will be positive integer or same sign if you multiply positive now next point multiplying multiplying first point and this is your second point Multiplying any two integers, any two integers having different sign, different sign, the result will be negative integer, negative integer and this you can remember as different different sign it will be negative result will be negative observe here if you multiply two integers having same sign it will be positive different sign if you multiply it will be negative integer now these two steps we are going to write symbolically that is multiplying two integers having same sign. See here uh, multiplying two integers let me use with the bracket same sign that means positive positive negative negative the result will be positive. Multiplying two integers having same sign will be positive. Coming to your second step. What is your second step? Multiplying any two integers having different sign. That is multiplying means into plus into minus. Multiplying with a different sign it will be negative. And one more page minus into plus it will be minus. Okay. Remember this again, plus into plus, plus, minus into minus, plus, plus into minus, minus, minus into plus, minus. Okay, if you remember these, you never do mistake in your multiplication of integers. Ready? Let me take with some numbers. 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. Okay, now, when you are doing this, First multiply signs, then multiply number. Plus into plus, it will be plus. Two threes are six. Okay. Minus into minus, it will be plus. Two threes are six. Third one, 
plus into minus minus 2 into 3 it will be 6 that is minus 6 minus into plus minus 2 into 3 it will be 6 see in all these four pairs you have same numbers but with a different sign plus into plus plus minus into minus plus plus into minus 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 into plus minus okay is this concept clear let me take some examples here uh, you try to answer first minus 2 into minus 5 plus 6 into plus 10 if you know answer you can solve before I do okay and now plus 5 into minus 3 minus 6 into plus 2 okay four examples I have taken let us try to do if you multiply same sign you'll get positive if you multiply different sign you get negative first try to multiply only signs minus into minus it will be plus after multiplying the signs you multiply numbers two fives are ten and here plus into plus it will be plus six tens are sixty your answer is plus sixty this one plus into minus it is minus five threes are fifteen and now minus into plus minus six twos are twelve I hope you all understood the concept of multiplication. So you take 10 more examples and solve immediately forward me. Okay. Now next concept is division of integers. Uh, there is no change with the division and multiplication. Let us see here. Instead of multiplication, wherever you have multiplication, I just go with the division. Right here, division of division of integers dividing dividing any two integers having same sign the result will be positive same sign result will be positive second step dividing any two integers having different sign the result will be negative integer Steps, there is no change for multiplication and division. Now we are going to write it symbolically. That is, if we divide, divide means this is a symbol. If we divide two integers having same sign, the result will be positive. Let us leave here gap and write here positive. And here, next division, same sign. One pair is positive, another pair is negative. And your result will be positive. Different sign. Different sign. Negative. Minus divided by plus. It will be negative. If you divide two numbers having same sign. Your result will be positive. Plus by plus. It will be plus. Minus by minus. Plus. Plus by minus. Minus. Minus by plus, minus. Okay. Now these symbols, instead of this, I may write like this. Plus by plus, minus by minus, plus by minus, minus by plus. Now let us take with the numbers. Plus 4 plus 2. Minus 4 minus 2. Plus 4 minus 2. Minus 4 plus 2. Okay. Okay. We are dividing with the integers. Rewrite this like this. Plus 4 plus 2. Minus 4 by minus 2. Plus 4 by minus 2. Minus 4 by plus 2. Okay. When you divide two integers having same sign, result will be positive. Plus by plus plus. Minus by minus plus. Plus by minus minus. Minus by plus minus. First, divide the symbols and then divide the numbers. Plus by plus it will be plus. Now divide the numbers. Two ones, two twos are four. 
टू बाय वन यू कैन राइट और जस्ट सिंपली यू कैन राइट टू प्लस टू इज योर आंसर एंड नाउ हियर माइनस माइनस कैंसिल न्यूमरेटर नेगेटिव साइन डिनोमिनेटर नेगेटिव साइन विल बी कैंसिल सो नथिंग देयर मींस इट इज पॉजिटिव सो टू टू सा फोर योर आंसर इज प्लस टू कमिंग टू योर थर्ड पे प्लस फोर बाय माइनस टू Plus by minus. When you divide a positive integer by a negative integer, result will be negative. Therefore, what you can say? Plus by minus will be minus two two is a four. Minus two is your answer. Similarly, minus by plus minus four by plus two will be minus two two is a four. Minus two is your answer. Okay. You may get a doubt here. When we have a numerator plus symbol, denominator minus symbol, how do we get a numerator negative? So look here, plus four, plus four. I can write it as minus of minus four by two. Look here, why minus into minus it will be plus minus into minus plus plus four by minus two. This plus four by minus two, I can write like this. Minus minus cancel and this is two two is a four minus two is your answer. Okay, don't be confused when numerator is positive. Why we have written negative? Don't be confused. Positive there means if you take out negative common, another negative will be inside the bracket. One negative cancel with the denominator. That means you are left with minus two. Okay, now here directly you can say minus two. Now we are going to take some examples here. Plus sixteen by plus four is equal to minus twelve by minus three and minus ten by plus two. And one more plus fifteen by minus five. Look here, both positive sign, both negative sign, both different sign. Minus by plus, plus by minus. As you know from these two points, what do you remember? When you divide two integers having same sign, result will be positive. Plus by plus, plus. Now number four one sa four four sa. Your answer is plus four. Similarly, next example, same sign. If you divide, you'll get a positive, or you can cancel. Minus minus will be cancel. So if this is cancel, nothing there means you can take positive sign. Number you cancel three four is a twelve plus four. And here when you are dividing with a different sign, your answer will be negative two five is a ten minus five is your answer. Two different sign if you divide, your result will be negative. And number if you divide five one is a five three is a that is. Minus three, you can write. Okay, is this clear? Same manner. Take ten more examples. Solve and quickly forward me. Addition of integers. Let us write here some points. Adding, adding two integers. Adding two integers having. Same sign. If both the integers are, if both the integers both are positive, if both are positive, then the result will be positive. Okay. If both are negative, when we add, both are negative. If we add, we get a negative sign. Adding two integers having same sign. Suppose if the two signs are positive. Look here. If both are positive, if you add, result will be positive. If both are negative and if you add, it will be negative. This I can write it as addition of. Two positive integers result will be positive, and addition of two.
two negative integers will be negative. Understand here carefully. If you are adding two positive integers, result will be positive. Okay. We need to add the numbers and take same positive sign. When you are adding two negative numbers, we need to add numbers and take same sign. Okay. Add and take same sign. You can remember. So these two, what you are doing here? Add and take same sign what you have while you are doing addition. Okay. Add and take same sign. Suppose let me take here plus 3 plus 2. Adding two positive integers. If we add two positive integers, take the same sign positive and add the numbers 3 plus 2 will be 5. Okay. Then negative numbers. Minus 3 minus 2 I will take. When we are adding two negative integers. Two negative integers. Take the same sign. Negative minus and add the numbers. 3 plus 2 will be 5. At this moment you have a chance of doing mistake in calculation part. Okay. When you have same sign when you are adding. Take the sign add the numbers. Take the sign, add the numbers. Okay. Add same sign you keep. When both the numbers are negative and both the numbers are positive, add the numbers and take the same sign. Let us take the example here. Uh, plus 2 plus plus 5 and minus 3 minus 6 is equal to. Plus 2 plus of plus 5. When you are adding two positive integers, take the sign, same positive sign, and add the numbers 2 plus 5 will be 7. Plus 7 is your answer. Same manner here. When you are adding two negative integers, take the same sign, add and take same sign, you remember. Same sign is negative. 3 plus 6 will be 9. Minus 9. Okay. When once if you learn this one. Later if you have a problems like this. Remove from bracket children. Plus 2. You know that if you multiply. Plus into plus. It will be plus 5. When you are adding these two. These two are having same positive sign. Take a positive. And 2 plus 5 will be 7. And this one also you can write in another way. Remove from bracket. Minus 3. Plus into minus. Multiply these two signs. Plus into minus. Minus. Number you take. 6. Minus 3 minus 6. If both the numbers. Here look here carefully. If you have both negative. Take negative sign. And what we need to do? We need to add the numbers. 6 plus 3 will be 9. See, these two are same and these two are same. We can use brackets while we are learning. Okay. In your next chapter onwards, we do directly like this. Plus 2 plus into plus plus 5 is equal to plus 7. And here minus 3 plus into minus minus 6. See, if both the integers are having negative sign, take the negative sign and add the numbers. See, both are same anyway you can do this. Either removing from brackets you can do or directly you learn like this first. Okay, one more example I'd like to give you here. Uh, let me take an example. Plus 5 plus plus 7 is equal to. Both are positive. Both are positive. Take a positive sign and add the numbers. 5 plus 7 it will be 12 plus 12. Same I can rewrite this as plus 5 plus into plus plus 7. See plus 5 plus 7 means take a positive sign and add the numbers plus 12. Okay don't be confused. You may do in this manner or in this manner. So let me take next example. 
minus 5 plus of minus 3. Minus 5 plus of minus 3. Bracket, I am reading it as plus of minus 3. When you are adding two negative integers, take a negative sign and add the numbers. 5 plus 3 will be 8. The same problem, you can write it as, remove brackets, minus 5. Okay? Plus into minus. In multiplication of integers, we have seen. When both are different sign, your answer will be negative. Plus into minus, minus 3. Okay? If both are having same sign, take the same sign and add the numbers. This point you should remember carefully. When you have two numbers with the same sign, take the sign and add the numbers. Most of the children will do wrong at this place. Okay, don't worry. If you have both the negative numbers, take a negative sign and add the numbers. Next point we need to remember. Adding two integers having different sign. So what we need to do at the time? Look here, when we are adding, subtract, subtract, smaller, subtract, smaller number from bigger number, from bigger number and, and take Sign of bigger number and take sign of bigger number. Understand this point? Subtract smaller number from bigger number. When the two integers are of different sign, what we need to do? We need to subtract smaller number from bigger number and take the sign of bigger number. So example. So let us see one example here. Minus 3, minus 3 plus plus 2 is equal to minus 3 plus of plus 2. That means addition of two integers having different sign. Okay. Forget about this sign positive and negative. Forget. Okay. Other than this you see only numbers 3 and 2. Only 3 and 2 observe, not minus 3 and 2, right? 3 and 2, which is greater? 3 is greater. So, for 3, what is the sign you have? Minus, minus. Okay? Now, what we need to do? Subtract smaller number from bigger number. That is, 3 minus 2 will be 1. Your answer is minus 1. When you are doing addition of two integers having different sign. First thing you need to do is which number is greater. With the sign you don't see which is greater. Without sign you see 3 and 2 which is greater. 3 is greater. 3 is having which sign? Negative sign. So take the negative sign. And subtract the smaller number from this 3. Is this clear? Uh, don't be confused. When we consider minus 3 and 2. Minus 3 is smaller. Plus 2 is greater. Okay. So without a sign you should see there. Without sign see only number 3 and 2 which is greater. 3 is greater. So this bigger number having a negative sign. So write here negative sign and subtract. Right. So, let me take one more example. Uh, plus 3 minus 2 is equal to. Plus 3 minus 2. So, this one again, two different signs. Consider number here, 3 and 2. Without sign, you see numbers only. 3, 2, which is greater? 3 is greater. What is the sign you have for 3? Plus. So, right here, plus. And subtract the smaller number from bigger number. 3 minus 2 will be 1. Here you got minus 1 and here you got plus 1. Okay. 
So this I can remove brackets and write it directly as look here carefully minus 3 plus into plus plus minus 3 plus 2 is equal to directly you can say now minus 3 plus 2 okay which number is greater 3 is greater and 3 is followed with a negative sign so take a negative sign in 3 subtract 2 it will be 1 without brackets you can do like this with the brackets like this okay never confuse this one and now coming to second one remove this bracket plus 3 okay now these two signs you need to multiply plus into minus it will be minus 2 plus 3 minus 2 directly you can say 3 minus 2 is 1 but when you are learning integer additions you just go like this 3 and 2 3 is greater 3 is followed with a positive sign so I take here an answer plus first and subtract the smaller number from the greater number 3 minus 2 will be 1 okay minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 and plus 3 minus 2 will be plus 1 okay let us solve some more examples here addition of two integers having different sign minus 7 plus plus 3 so only number you observe 7 and 3 which is greater 7 is greater and greater number have which sign negative sign take that sign negative and now next step what we need to do subtract smaller number from bigger number 7 minus 3 it will be 4 so your answer is minus 4 and next one minus 2 plus of plus 10 that is 2 and 10 which is greater 10 is greater greater number have plus sign take plus sign here and subtract the smaller number from greater number 10 minus 2 will be 8 okay next one plus 10 plus of minus 7 observe only number 10 and 7 which is greater 10 is greater and it is followed with a plus sign take the sign of greater number and subtract smaller number from greater number 10 minus 7 will be 3 plus 3 is your answer next plus 6 plus of minus 12 equal to 6 and 12 which is greater 12 is greater 12 is having which sign minus sign take a minus sign and subtract the smaller number from greater number 12 minus 6 will be 6 okay is this clear subtraction of integers this can be remembered in two ways first one change the sign of second integer change the sign of second means uh, if you have plus 3 minus 3 minus 3 if you have plus 3 change the sign of second integer and proceed with addition of integers how we have done in addition in that way we need to proceed or subtraction is opposite of addition and therefore we add the additive inverse of the integer that is being subtracted okay let me take examples here plus 5 minus plus 2 minus 5 minus of minus 2 and here different sign plus 5 minus of minus 2 and minus 5 minus of plus 2 okay so now observe these four here children two positive integers two negative integers one positive and one negative integer one negative and one positive integers are subtracted then how to proceed this one according to this change the sign of second integer See here, uh, this is your second integer. What do you have here? Plus 2 there. What is that? Plus 2. Change the sign of second integer. Change means inverse. If you have plus, you should write minus. Okay, in that way I will proceed. First one as it is, plus 5. Okay, first change the sign of second integer. I write it as minus 2. And add. 
okay and proceed with addition of integers when you are subtracting forget about minus sign okay change the second integer plus 2 there minus 2 you do and add the integer now let us simplify this when you are adding two integers of having different sign take the sign of greatest number here 5 and 2 which is greater 5 and 2 which is greater 5 is greater 5 is having plus okay plus sign and now next a smaller number to be subtracted from the greater number 5 minus 2 it will be 3 plus 3 is your answer let's go with the second one two negative integers are subtracted here go with the second integer it is minus 2 change minus 2 means plus 2 and add the number when you have a subtraction of integers make sure first integer will be as it is minus 5 okay and now the second integer change minus 2 can be written as plus 2 okay and this minus we write it as plus when we change this number it becomes plus here okay now minus 5 plus 2 greater number have a negative sign and we need to subtract minus 3 is the answer same manner plus 5 minus of minus 2 okay two different signs you have and the second number change the sign that is plus 5 minus 2 plus 2 and add that number now again plus 5 both are positive so take positive sign and add the numbers next one minus 5 minus of plus 2 change the second number minus 2 write the first number as minus 5 and change the second number that will be minus 2 plus when we are adding two negative numbers two negative numbers take the negative sign and add the numbers 5 plus 2 will be 7 minus 7 now let's see the second point subtraction is opposite of addition subtraction is just opposite of addition that means we add the we add the additive inverse of the integer that is being subtracted so this subtraction is just reverse of the addition we add the additive inverse of the integer that is being subtracted we are subtracting here plus 2 so its additive inverse is minus 2 add it and here minus 2 additive inverse is plus 2 add it and here minus 2 additive inverse is plus 2 add plus 2 additive inverse minus 2 add okay the same four problems i try to do this by removing brackets so look here carefully first one plus 5 i will write only 5 minus into plus minus 2 5 minus 2 will be 3 yes same answer you are going to get now same manner this one minus 5 we need to multiply when you have signs like this minus into minus plus 2 here one positive and one negative so what we do greater number sign we will take and we subtract minus 3 same answer and now here remove brackets plus 5 i write it as normal 5 minus into minus plus 2 5 plus 2 will be 7 same manner minus 5 minus into plus minus 2 minus 5 minus 2 will be minus 7 when you are learning try to learn like this once if you know directly you can do like this okay is this clear first learn and then try to do like this now suppose if i take a b as two integers if i take a and b as the two integers a minus b can be written as second number change and add that that is a plus additive inverse additive additive inverse of b that is a plus additive inverse of b is 
a plus of minus b. If a and b are two integers, when we do a minus b, so this second, second integer do the additive inverse and change the sign as plus. That is a plus. What do you have here? b. Additive inverse of b. That is a plus of minus b. You can write. Okay. Suppose if you have like this. a minus of minus b. How can you write this? a plus. a plus. Additive inverse of minus b. Additive Additive inverse of minus b. Additive inverse of minus b will be plus b. That is a plus b you are going to get. This I can write it as a plus b. Additive inverse of minus b is plus b. a plus b I can write. Now let us see integer operations on a number line. You can see some points I have written here. We know already when we add a positive integer. We know here these are all positive integers, negative integers. 0 is neither positive nor negative. It is a neutral integer. We know that from 0, you are standing at 0. If you want to add a number, you go on adding towards right side. If you want to subtract a number, you go on to the left side. Okay. Subtraction, addition. Add a positive integer. Adding a positive integer, we move right side. Adding a negative integer, we move left side. This arrow indicates right and this arrow indicates left. Okay. Same manner, subtraction. Subtraction of a positive integer. When we subtract a positive integer, we move towards left. When we subtract a negative integer, we move towards right. How it is possible? Let us check with some examples. Okay. So observe here carefully. When I am adding two positive integers. So first number indicates the position of the number line. Plus 3. Okay. You are here. Right. Plus 3. If you need to add plus 2. Add positive integer. When you are adding, you need to move to the Two numbers towards right. So what is your answer? 5. Yes or no? This is plus 5. If you want you can put your plus symbol also if you need. So plus 3 plus of plus 2 answer is plus 5. Okay. Next one. Minus 3. Your position is here. You need to add negative integer. Adding a negative integer which side we need to move? Left side. From 3, 2 digits towards left side. That is your answer is minus 5. Next one. Plus 3. Again, you are at this position. Plus 3. Plus of minus 2. Adding a negative integer. When you add a negative integer, you move towards left side. How many digits you need to move? 2. 1, 2. Okay, so plus 3 plus of minus 2 it will be plus 1 is your answer. Next one, minus 3, your position is here, right? Plus of plus 2. When you add a positive integer, you need to move right side. From here, 2 digits towards right side. That means this is your answer. What is your answer? Minus 1. If you want, you can check with the addition operations what we have done. If both are positive, what we need to do? Take the positive sign and add the number. If both are negative, take negative sign and add the number. Here, if both are different signs, if you add, take the sign of a greater number and subtract. Sign is positive, 3 minus 2 will be 1. And here also, greater number is 3, greater number sign is minus and subtract this, you get minus 1. Is this clear? Now let us solve this one. Subtraction of integers on a number line. Plus 3 minus of plus 2. When you are subtracting a positive integer, when you are subtracting a positive integer, we need to move towards left side. 
So your position is at plus 3 now. Minus of plus 2. Subtract positive integer. So which side we need to move? Towards left side. How many digits? 2 digits. So your answer is plus 1. Now let's see the next one. Minus 3 minus of minus 2. Yeah, subtracting a negative integer. When we subtract a negative integer, we need to move right side. Subtract negative, both are negative. If you multiply, it will be positive, right? So, we should go right side. How many? 2. First, your position is minus 3. Okay, 2 digits towards right side. Your answer is minus 1. Okay, next one. Plus 3. Plus 3, your position is here. Okay. Minus of minus 2. Subtraction of a negative integer. Subtraction of a negative integer, which side you go? Towards right. If you are confused, look here. Minus of minus, minus and minus plus. Plus means right side, no? Like that you remember. Okay. Plus 3. Subtract minus 2. Subtract a negative number towards right side. Your answer is plus 5. Okay. Next one. Minus 3 minus of plus 2. When we subtract a positive integer. When you are subtracting a positive integer, we need to move left side. Okay. First number shows a position minus 3. Okay, subtracting plus 2. Subtracting a positive integer. So, go to the left side. From here, how many digits? 2 digits. So, your answer is minus 5. Okay, now normally let us check here. So, you can rewrite this as implies 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. And you can rewrite this as minus 3 plus 2 is equal to minus 1 and you can rewrite this as 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and here minus 3 minus 2 is equal to minus 5. Subtraction is a reverse of addition. When you have a subtraction directly you can put a plus sign and change the sign in the bracket. That is additive inverse of the number or in other way how can we do remove brackets and these two signs you multiply and write like this. Plus 3. Plus no need of writing always. Plus means you can write only number also. 3 minus 2 is 1. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. 3 plus 2 is 5. Minus 3 minus 2. Minus 5. Okay. You can see the minus symbol here. Either we do with the addition or subtraction operations. We get the same answer. And if we plot on a number line also. We get the same answer. Okay, what is the point you need to remember? When you add a positive integer on a number line, we move right side. When you add a negative integer on a number line, we move left side. Okay, when you subtract a positive integer, when you are subtracting a positive integer, we move left side. When you subtract a negative integer, we move right side. Okay. Just exactly opposite. When you add positive, right. When you subtract positive, left. When you add a negative, left. When you subtract a negative, right. Practice more and more problems. Then you will be perfect of integer operations. With this, I end my session. Thank you all.